The movie begins with a man named Gaspar Snow roller skating his way on the streets of Paris. He arrives just in time as his father announces his act to perform on the stage of the Flowerburger boat. Gaspar sings with the Barbrettes as his backup. Richard arrives and is warmly greeted by the staff, as he is a frequent visitor. The few attendees applaud the singers for their performance, and Richard leaves afterward, happily humming the song. As he leaves, he hears a melodious voice and is enchanted by it. He goes into the river, looking lovestruck as he seeks the voice in the deep waters. Meanwhile, on the boat, Gaspar's father gives him his share of the money they earned that night. Gaspar jokes that it's as much as he saved in his piggy bank when he was younger. Gaspar's father reveals that he had another offer for the bar, as the business isn't doing well. But Gaspar prefers to sell something other than the bar, as he is attached to everything in it. He claims that it holds too many memories that he wants to keep. Gaspar leaves to go home and hears that melodious voice, but strangely it doesn't enchant him like the man before. Gaspar tries to enter his apartment quickly but is greeted by his neighbor Rossi, watching him through the peephole. Rossi, a good friend of Gaspar's mother, also wants Gaspar to become happy because he has been sad and alone for a long time. Rossi encourages him to find a girlfriend since he's always alone, but his cat, Johnny Cash, is the only one waiting for him at home. His house is littered with different toys and trinkets he collected. Gaspar devotes most of his time to his mother's last memory, a book called Dreamers. Gaspar falls asleep next to Johnny Cash while a song by the Barbrettes plays. Later that night, an old man fishing by the river hears that magical tune again. Then he goes into the river, following the melodic voice in the deep waters. As Gaspar has breakfast with his cat the next morning, two men deliver the voice o graph booth from the bar. He realizes his father is selling the place, so he sprints toward the bar on his skates. He argues with his father about his decision, saying his mother would have fought to keep the place. But his father has no choice, and Gaspar angrily leaves the place. As he wanders by the riverside, Gaspar sees a mermaid unconscious on the riverbank. At first, he believes the girl is wearing a costume, so he takes her in his arms and tries to hail a cab. The taxi drivers won't help him, thinking they are drunk. Then, he stops a tricycle and trades the driver his vehicle for his roller skates. Meanwhile, at a hospital, Dr. Milena and Dr. Victor meet outside, and they kiss as she tells him she might be pregnant with his child. The two happily enjoy the moment as they dance, but they are interrupted when Milena gets a call for a patient's case, and she asks him to stay there as she won't be gone long. Moments later, Gaspar arrives and goes into the hospital to call for help, leaving the mermaid and the tricycle outside. But without a medical insurance card, they can't help her. At the same time, Victor approaches the tricycle and sees the unconscious mermaid. The mermaid wakes up and starts singing melodiously, and Victor becomes entranced by her. Suddenly, he feels a pain in his chest and decides to go inside the hospital. Gaspar returns to the tricycle, accidentally leaving his mother's book on the counter. As Gaspar drives away from the hospital, he unknowingly leaves behind the mermaid's blue blood and some scales from her tail. Victor's health rapidly deteriorates, and when Milena sees him, he tells her about the mermaid outside before falling unconscious. He is immediately taken to the emergency ward. Later, Gaspar arrives home with the mermaid on his shoulder, and Rossi sees this through her peephole. Gaspar brings her to the bathroom and puts her in a bathtub. He puts a shirt on her, and the mermaid wakes up and starts singing her tune. However, it does not affect Gaspar, so he goes to the kitchen to prepare something to eat. Afterward, Gaspar returns to the mermaid and treats her tail wound. She tells him her name is Lula, and he is stunned to discover she can speak. Lula explains that she will die if she doesn't return to the sea within two sunrises. Gaspar promises to take her to the sea once she has healed. That same night, Victor dies while singing the mermaid's melody, and Melina is unable to do anything to help. The autopsy reports on Victor show a significantly increased amount of nitrogen, and some gases resemble sea gases in his body. The following day, while Lula is sleeping underwater, she wakes up and is shocked to find Gaspar still alive. Meanwhile, Melina takes a pregnancy test and bursts into tears when she sees it's positive. Victor appears behind her, embracing them, but she soon realizes it is just her imagination. Lula tells Gaspar that men usually die when they hear her voice because they fall in love with her so much that their hearts explode. Gaspar doesn't take her seriously, claiming that his heart exploded several times long ago, so he can't love anymore. Nevertheless, Lula warns him that his heart will be forever broken this time. Gaspar doesn't listen to her and brings a small TV into the bathroom, playing a movie about a mermaid. At the hospital, Melina investigates the cause of Victor's death. She learns from the reception that a man left a strange book after leaving the hospital. Meanwhile, Gaspar goes out to retrieve his mother's book. Once outside, Rossi congratulates him for finally bringing a woman home, but he claims she is just a friend and leaves in a rush. 
Outside the hospital, Molina finds blue blood and scales on the road. Seconds later, Gaspar arrives on the tricycle. He enters the hospital and asks about his book, but the staff only asks for his health insurance card. Rossi enters Gaspar's apartment to meet Lula and mistakes her for Gaspar's girlfriend. Rossi thinks she's a singer, knowing she fits Gaspar's type. Rossi tells Lula about the legendary Flower Burger Bar. Her grandmother created the bar in the 1940s, and people who wanted to have fun and fall in love would meet there, even during the war. Gaspar's mother died when he was very young, leaving him with his mother's book. Rossi returns to her apartment but forgets her cigarette. Out of curiosity, Lula tries to take a puff but throws it on the floor, causing a fire. Meanwhile, Melina is investigating the blue blood she found and discovers it's from a creature that must be from the deep sea. Later, her assistant gives her a newspaper article about a mermaid in Paris. Later, Gaspar receives a phone call informing him that his house is on fire, and he quickly drives home. Fortunately, the firefighters arrived earlier and extinguished the fire. However, one of them was enchanted by Lula's melody, losing his mind to its magic. Gaspar arrives at the apartment, and the fireman advises him not to smoke in the house, showing him the cigarette case. Gaspar goes to the bathroom but needs help finding Lula in the tub. He eventually finds her under his bed, terrified. Gaspar doesn't get mad at her, knowing it must have been Rossi's cigarettes. Gaspar takes Lula into Rossi's tub to watch her while he returns to the apartment. He returns to Lula, and she immediately apologizes. Gaspar decides to return her to the water. Before they part ways, he asks her what she wants to do before leaving. Lula requests some Parisian fish and asks him to sing her a song. Gaspar promises to get some fish but first sings her a little song. He is impressed by her enchanting voice and proposes to make a record with her. Gaspar takes her to the voice graph booth, and they record their first song. Enchanted by her, Gaspar tries to kiss her, but she pulls back. Meanwhile, the fireman is dying at the hospital and talks about Lula's enchanting voice. Melina realizes her boyfriend died the same way and tries to get information from the fireman. Melina is enraged and vows to find the mermaid and cook her for dinner. At the same time, Gaspar asks Lula to spend an evening at the bar, promising to take her back to the water at midnight. He wants to show her how human beings enjoy life, and she accepts. They get ready, and Rossi gets a dress for Lula. They happily drive to the bar on the tricycle. The party is in full swing at the bar, and Gaspar's father welcomes the two lovebirds, mistaking Lula for a disabled girl. Gaspar's father brings out a heart-shaped piñata, and as Gaspar hits it, rose petals come out, indicating that Lula has a good heart. Lula reveals to him that she's the only survivor of her kind, as a group of sailors killed her mother. Since then, Lula has been taking revenge by killing anyone who approaches her. She confesses that she has killed 43 sailors, but Gaspar jokes about it, saying he has dated 43 different women. Later, Gaspar's father plays their song, and they dance romantically. Unbeknownst to them, Melina joins the party after unknowingly saying the password to the waitress with the help of Gaspar's book. At that moment, Lula and Gaspar leave to wander around the city. Gaspar takes her to see the bright Eiffel Tower and slowly falls in love with her without realizing it. Afterward, he takes her to a public aquarium, where Lula swims with the fish and invites Gaspar to join her. A few moments later, his heart aches as he falls in love with her. Lula tries to help him breathe, but he falls unconscious. The next day, Gaspar is sad as he promised to let Lula go. When they reach the river, Gaspar asks her to stay with him, promising to take her to all the world's oceans and always be near her, even if he needs to scuba dive. Lula is unsure because it's too risky. Gaspar decides to make one last surprise for her before letting her go. He shows her a performance that his mother invented. The show ends, and Lula asks him to bring her fresh fish. Gaspar leaves to get it, and Rossi spots him leaving. Lula begins to cry, and her tears turn into pure pearls. Lula begs Rossi to take her away but doesn't understand why, as Gaspar has never been so happy in the last few years. Lula explains that he would die if she stayed any longer. Gaspar returns with the fish and flowers but sees Rossi's apartment door open, realizing something has happened. He finds Melina and her assistant analyzing the bathtub inside his apartment bathroom. Gaspar bursts out in anger and asks where Lula is. He falls unconscious from severe heartache. They take Gaspar and Lula to the hospital. Lula's powers are now affecting Gaspar. Lula wakes up and asks for Gaspar, but Melina tells her he will die like all her other victims. Later, Rossi distracts Melina, waking Gaspar up, and they pick up Lula to carry her outside. Melina realizes the deception and runs out of the hospital, but it is too late, as they have already left. Melina asks Rossi where they are going, saying that Gaspar could die at any moment. Rossi claims that they're going to the river near the bar. 
Melina arrives at the river but has yet to receive a call from her assistant informing her of Gaspar's location. During their escape, Lula reveals that she's in love with Gaspar, but he doesn't respond as he tries to convince himself that he doesn't love her. As the sun rises, they soon arrive at the seashore, and Gaspar takes her to the water. The two kisses and Gaspar finally let her go. Lula looks at him sorrowfully, knowing he will die, and swims away. Soon, Melina arrives and sees Gaspar dying on the shore. She checks his pulse and sees Victor and Gaspar, asking her to save him. A few days later, Gaspar receives a call from Melina's assistant, who returns Lula's pearls to him. The movie ends as Gaspar buys the flower burger bar and a boat with the pearls to continue his life across the sea, hoping to find Lula again. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.